Niagara holding that one point lead now. Adam Blazek assuming the point guard duties in the absence of Sammy Zaglinski. Lewis inside, Cook, nice pass, and Stutz was denied on the interior. Bolden with the big paw up there, and uh, not a lot of weight behind him, but uh, he plays a tough game underneath. Awfully long arms. It's almost like he could reach out and high-five us, and we're up here in the suites calling this one. Springer Williams pulls it up from three and misses. Cook will reset, and then he gave it away. Cook had lots of time there. Could have shot. Moss will finish in transition, and Windsor will retake the lead. So good start for Windsor coming out of the gate here in half number two. First four points for the team in red. Springer Williams passes up a jumper at the foul line. Blazek up fake, steps back, three-pointer. Just a little strong, and there's a foul underneath against Niagara. Again, Bolden was there for that rebound. So uh, it's a nice work by Bolden in that first half. He played 15 01. Good, Bolden. Quan Cook will pick up the foul. It was actually Tony Bennett who uh, played the most for Windsor in that first half. It was with 22, over 22 minutes. Long distance three pointer knocked down by Chris Commons. And a 7 0 run for the Express coming out of the gate here in the third quarter. Clinton Springer Williams has an open look for three and puts an end to the run with the River Lions' first points of the half. Niagara needed that basket and it was Williams again. That's four three pointers now for him, Steve. And very strong has the graduate of. Brock University in Carlton. Step back three by Commons is no good, and Cook will clear. Pushed up the floor. Springer Williams feeling it, and he dials up another one. Springer Williams has another three. Wow, he uh, he saw where that line was, Steve. We saw him up from up here. He stepped back, and another three. Robinson with the miss. Bolden with the offensive rebound and the reset. Springer Williams back to back three pointers. Bolden ball on the floor. What a move! And Cook recovered nicely, but fouled Bolden. Bolden will go to the line. Fourth foul for Cook, so he'll have to sit down for a long rest. Bolden misses the first one. Came in averaging 12.6 points a game. One out of two from the line. Well, Springer Williams, only 11 three-pointers all year. He's got five already here tonight. So uh, what a job by number two. Now a player down on the court. It's a foul. See what happened to Bennett here is he gets an elbow to the face, right into the chops of number five, Tony Bennett. Probably uh, the be uh, one of the well, one of the top two, three players here tonight for Windsor. He's had a nice game. He was okay as he picked up the foul and the ball out of bounds. It will remain with Niagara. 13 seconds on the shot clock for the River Lions. Now these teams have played a couple of close games this year. Five points the difference, Windsor winning up in Windsor. Niagara beat Windsor here a couple of weeks ago, 99-98, there's a steal. Robinson in transition, finishes as Commons fed him nicely. And then Springer Williams will turn the ball over. Adrian Moss acrobatic as he was fouled. And will it be a shooting foul? Well, uh, Moss uh, taking a tumble there. He put up a pretty wild shot. They talk it over down on the floor as I believe Moss will go to the line. Yes, he will. Or no, no, it's a uh, possession. Windsor. Windsor was trying to sell that it was a shooting foul. 
So Blazik will pick up his second foul of the game. Bolden. Moss. Jumper is short. Blazik. Springer Williams, one extra pass, Stutz with an open three, and he missed. And the ball is out of bounds and will remain with Niagara in a fresh 24 second shot clock. Well, again, Windsor doing the job on Stutz here tonight. He hasn't had uh, a lot of open looks. Here's Stutz, ball on the floor, and he lost it, but it went right to Allison. Springer Williams thought about the three. Lewis, great move, Marcus Lewis. Little shake and bake there by Lewis. Yeah, that was a pretty one. Robinson misses high off the glass, and Bolden missed the tip. Springer Williams down low. Lewis running the floor beautifully as he finishes in transition. Marcus Lewis on a roll here. And a whistle and a timeout by Windsor to stem the momentum as the River Lions have come out and had Brian a couple of good runs in this quarter. Well, they didn't start off this half very well as it was uh, seven in a row for Windsor. But Williams getting this crowd going with some nice work, two straight baskets for him. That's another three-point lead here for Niagara. Let's have a look at uh, some of this good work as Williams drives, puts it up. And that was the basket that led to the timeout. So Clinton Springer Williams, he, as you said, 11 three-pointers coming into the game tonight. And well, whatever he had for breakfast and supper, we would like to have as well, because he's been on fire this evening. Yeah, his, uh, he's been dialed in, as you uh, mentioned. Dialed up, dialed in, and uh, ready to lead this team to a victory here. Let's have a, another look at uh, some more action from that quarter. This is another three-pointer by Springer Williams. Williams, look at that high arcing shot. Nothing but net, as they say. And you could tell that like, he was feeling it. He wanted that ball. So Windsor, the Express, hoping to right the ship out of that timeout. Moss for Commons. Outside Bolden puts the ball on the floor. Allison stayed right with him, and Allison will commit the foul on Bolden. Tough guy to handle. Yeah, Maurice bolded to the line. A bit of a collision there with Allison. He played his college basketball at Southern Mississippi. Started 65 games there. including all 34 his senior year. One out of two from the line from the big man. Lewis had to go off of his knee out of bounds. Bennett like that call. Bennett's going to get the ball back. Yeah, he ran right up the floor. Bolden missed the tip after the Bennett miss. It'll remain with Windsor and a reset of the shot clock. 7.25 left to go in this third quarter. Is the crowd uh, quiet a little bit? The uh, Williams had him going a few minutes ago. Let's see if they can uh, get a turnover here and uh, get the crowd back up on their feet. Long three by Commons is no good. And look at the hustle play by Robinson to throw it off the river line. Out of bounds. It'll remain with Windsor. Commons guarded by Stutz, cleared out a little bit of space. Tough shot, and they're going to call a foul on the play against Stutz, who has a bewildered look on his face. <laughs> well, Stutz, a pretty uh, heavy D there as uh, he was aggressive. And uh, we'll have a look at it as Allison uh, 
Was a ball there. Stutz has forced the player wide. There's Williams batting it away, but it results in a free a couple of free throws here for Windsor. Robbins, a 76% free throw shooter coming into this evening as he hits the first one. River Lions already with five fouls as a team here in the third quarter. One out of two from the line for Commons, but Windsor with a chance to reset. Bolden, Bennett turns the corner, drives in. Look at the move by Tony Bennett to give Windsor the lead back. Sweet drive there by Bennett. Puts Windsor up by one. Lewis strong to the cup, and they're going to wave off the basket. Offensive interference will be the call against Stutz, who was a little too aggressive. Well, he's a little aggressive on defense, and now a little aggressive on offense as uh, he hung off the rim there, but waved off by the officiating crew, uh, who've done a great job here tonight. We haven't even noticed any uh, controversial calls at all. Tony Turnbull, Vern Bovell. Augie Soklovic, the officiating crew. I know Tony Turnbull, you know him. He actually coaches senior basketball in Burlington, so he goes, works both sides of the floor as Lewis finishes in transition. Count the basket and the foul. Uh, I was wondering why Allison passed it up, but uh, <laughs> there's my answer is Lewis on a roll. Goes to the line, too, Steve. Friendly shooters roll for Lewis to complete the three-point play. Lewis played at Eastern Kentucky. Uh, interesting uh, bunch of schools here tonight from some of these players. That's all over the map. Literally, these guys have uh, played and played college. A lot of these guys played in Europe. Logan Stutz, one of them. He has the ball now. Springer Williams again oh. for three. It's his night so far, and we're just a part of it. Forget about it as Williams. Man, he can't miss from three-point line. River Lions a five-point lead. Moss will kick it out. Brandon Robinson worked by Springer Williams. Off the screen, Springer Williams stayed right with him. Stolen away by Stutz underneath. And the big man will put the ball on the floor. They're looking for Springer Williams now. Blazek up top, Lewis, one more pass for Allison here. Stutz, step back, three-pointer. Why not? Stutz for three. <laughs> They're all going in now for Niagara. They're on a roll, their biggest lead of the night. They're up by eight. Nine straight points by the River Lions. Commons wants to break the run. Three-pointer, no. Springer Williams doing it all. He rebounded that one. Blazek, Springer Williams will feed Stutz, and that one went off the foot of Stutz out of bounds. 4.50 to go here in the third quarter. Well, Stutz, he was starting to feel a little bit there as well as uh, if he gets warmed up, watch out. There's that great three-point shooting once again. They just can't miss him out there, Steve. Great look by our cameraman right down in the corner. First look at Russ Connolly for the River Lions of the evening. He's defending now against Kirk Williams, Jr. And right onto the score sheet, fouling Williams, Jr. Coming back into the game for Niagara is number 10. Greg Carter, uh, the smallest player for Niagara, but uh, does a good job. And we'll see if he can do anything here coming off the bench. Williams Jr. with a miss as he drove the lane. Allison with a clear. Here's Carter. Up for Springer Williams. Three-pointer! <laughs> this guy's on fire. Forget wow. about it. Clinton wow. Springer Williams for three. 